going for a squat, which is um, a type of body weight exercise, uh, mainly targeting the lower neck muscle active. Now, you will stand shoulder width apart. Make sure to stand with a neutral spine, not into um, normal uh, inverted distal um, posture. Uh, what we will do now, we will go down by fixing your knees and shifting your weight backward as if you are sitting on a chair. Notice that the uh, weight distribution on his toes. Uh, regarding the placement of the arms, uh, it's much easier to do it while your arms in front of you for balance. You can progress by changing the placement of your arms towards your chest or by placing your arms behind your neck. Yes, thank you. And while doing the regular uh, squat, uh, most of the time we will go down to 90 degrees and then we can go uh, much downward into like deep squat. So the deep squat versus the 90 degrees. Yeah. In order to do the squat and the correct form, we need to learn some of the common mistakes while doing the squat. Uh, in this video, uh, the model will try to do um, some of these is why the common is what I know now. Uh, you can notice his heels, he is uh, elevating the heels off the ground by shifting the weight forward onto his toes and uh, not his knees uh, also beyond the level of his feet. Um, and this is wrong. So, in order to modify this, we will ask you to stand here and elevate the heel using the mat, using anything. Uh, a book or something else and then try to uh, go down and up again okay we can also bring the chair and ask the beginner to do a squat by um, imagining that you will sit on the chair don't sit as if you are you, you tap or touch the chair and then you go up again In this video, we will show some progression for the squat by changing the surface. He is standing over the yoga pad and performing the squat. You can notice the correct posture and he is placing his arm in front of his body. Now he is putting the arms across the chest and also he can place the arms behind the head for more progression. We can also show another progression for the squat by using a bozo. He is performing the squat while standing over the bozo. And again, he can change the placement of the arms. And you can also notice the correct posture of the pelvis, neutral pelvis, and shifting the weight into his heels. This is another advanced progression for performing the squat while standing on a wobble board. You can see how he's performing the squat while placing his arm in front of him over a wobbly surface. This is another advanced progression of the squat while standing on the um, inferior surface of the bozo. Now you can see how he is performing the squat while standing on a very wobbly surface. We can do variations of the squat by changing the base of support. He will perform now a um, narrow base squat. So you need to make sure that the weight is on the heels. Even while doing the narrow squat, the knees are not and the knees are facing out. Now, he can also perform wide base uh, squat or we call it some squat. Again, the knees are looking out with the level of the toes and the weight shifted on the heel. We can also do some progressions while doing the squat. This is a pistol squat. You can touch a bar in front of you or a wall and then the pistol squat is simply doing the squat while putting the weight only on one leg. 